more exciting Pokemon card set news. Just They just keep hitting us with it, right? Uh, now we have Surging Sparks has been officially announced. Uh, this set is due to release on November 8th, uh, as you guys can see right here, our SV8 set. Uh, we'll take a look at the pack art. We'll take a look at the cards that we know are in there, and we'll talk about the whole set and everything. I'll give my uh, thoughts and opinions. Starting off with uh, this first pack art. Now, I really like this one. Obviously, Pikachu popular Pokemon. Um, I know that the the crown, the terrestrial crown thing with all the gems and stuff, you know, kind of hasn't been super popular. Um, but if I'm being honest, for me personally, it's been growing on me. Um, I kind of dig it. It just depends on how the cards are. Um, but I kind of like it. And I think it's kind of a cool thing. Um, I have no problem with it. Pikachu, he's looking cool. Um, great pack art there. Um, then we have Latios, Latias, uh, super cool there. You know, cool, cool pack arts, right? Uh, and Alolan Executor. Um, I've talked about this before. Um, I don't like this version of Executor too much, but um, it's kind of I like. He's just like this derpy, um, derpy Pokemon, and I do like it. I, I'm I'm all about it, honestly. So uh, yeah, um, so I like it. Love the artwork. Um, Three out of four, in my opinion, because they get the 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 building. It's just like you know, um, the building Pokemon. I, what's his name? Darulodon or something? Uh, you know, come on, they they can't hit on everything, I guess. Um, not for me. If you like it, you know, no, you know, no, no offense, but uh, just a little silly. Um, so three out of the four pack arts are pretty good. Take a look at the booster box here. Uh, booster box is looking great. You got Pikachu and and the uh, uh, the uh, Executor popping out the top. I love that. I think that's super fun. Uh, there'll also be an Elite Trainer box. Um, no surprise with uh, Pokemon Center exclusives um, promo, uh, stamped promos. Um, like the color scheme that they picked, um, like the Pikachu, the purple and the the yellow. Uh, it's kind of giving me like uh, Lakers vibes. But uh, yeah, I like the. Uh, I like this. This is looking cool. This is looking good. Like so far initially, I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Um, now we start looking at the ETB content. So we got the sleeves. Looks like we're getting two different types of sleeves. Um, or are these the dividers? I think these are the dividers um, for inside. And then the sleeves are the lightning. Um, we're going to touch on this promo in a second. I'm excited about that promo. Um, but yeah, so... You know, you get your packs. It's just, a, you know, standard ETV, right? It's pretty much the promo that we're looking at, which is this Magneton that, honestly, I'm digging this promo. So, uh, Gen 1 Pokemon, right? Puts it up there a little higher for me. Um, not the most popular, but um, loving this artwork. I'm just, a lot of the artworks that they've been pushing out, you know, sometimes when it's a promo, you're going to go, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. I like it. I'm totally down. Totally love it. Um you know, these promos, besides the Pokemon Center ones, the Pokemon Center stamped ones are, uh, they're really holding, like, higher good values. The standard one's not really going to be worth much, um, but I really love the artwork. So, sometimes it's unfortunate when they take, like, a really great artwork and they make it a promo, it kind of devalues the card. Um, I'd love for this to be included in the set, but it is what it is on that one. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I, I really like what's going on here. Um, the Scarlet and Violet era has been doing amazing artwork. Um, I stand by that. Um, then we have the player's guide here. Uh, nothing really to look at there. Um, the sleeves. So these are the sleeves. Um, then we got, uh, this is what the little like deck box looks like. And these are the dividers. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. We do have some other artworks. Uh, it's pretty much just like the pack art, but like expanded upon a little bit. So we'll take a quick look at these. Um, I like the, uh, also, I just wanted to point out this logo here, the Surging Sparks. I like how they did this logo. I think it looks great. Um, I think they should just honestly take the Scarlet and Violet part off and just have it just say Surging Sparks, but whatever. Um, I think it looks good. Um, yeah, Legendaries, you got Gen 1, you got Pikachu, you got a building. <laughs> All right, so um, that pretty much summarizes uh, what we know so far. We do know more about the cards, which we'll touch on in a second. Um, so there's some more inter there's some interesting information here though that I just wanted to uh, talk about. So this set is big. Surging Sparks, like this is this is the big info that you guys are gonna want. Surging Sparks is over 250 cards, including they got eight ace spec cards. But this is where it gets juicy for me. 23 IRs and 11 SIRs. 
with six gold uh, hyper rare gold etch cards. So that means that if pull rates stay how they've been, some of these cards could be very expensive because uh, they are going to be very hard to pull. So uh, 23 IRs and 11 SIRs. That's interesting to me. So um, yeah, this is just like the little breakdown of the set. We don't really need to, to touch on that. Um, so what is important here is just to summarize. Um, so this is our English set, like I said, Surging Sparks. Uh, it will combine the cards from September's Paradise Dragona, which we still haven't seen all the cards from. So that's uh, Japan's September release, Paradise Dragona, right? Featuring the Alolan Executor and the Latias and everything. But then it will also combine Japan's October set called Supercharged Breaker, which is the peak where the Pikachu is coming from. We haven't seen any of that yet. So that's where um, I'm holding a little bit of my reservation for the set because I want to see what they do with that Pikachu. Um, if they do that Pikachu, like that Terrapagos with the rainbow border, whoo, that could be a very popular card, especially if it's very hard to pull from a massive set. Just saying, this this could potentially be an amazing set. Uh, we, we don't know until we see more of the cards. But um, let's take a look at the cards that we do know for sure. I touched on these in another video, but I think it's important to take a look at. Um, they just announced this one. So this is from Paradise Dragona. Um, and oh, it's a little bit zoomed in there for you. Um, I do apologize there. But uh, you guys... You know, not the most popular Pokemon, but I do kind of like this darker artwork. So, um, you know, probably an IR that's going to be probably not too expensive, but um, cool to see. You know, so that's the newest announcement. But um, we touched on these before, right? So um, the Latios, the Latios IR looking good, I think. Honestly, um, the Sunset, the I like great looking, great looking IR. Okay. Then we have... Uh, the Latias um, right here. Great looking cards. Um, legendaries, right? So win-win. And then uh, I talked about this before. With the Execute IR, like something about this card, I don't know. It's just it's the silliness of this card. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I think it's it's just absolutely silly. They got like, I don't know what they're doing. I, I talked about it before. They're rollerblading, skateboarding, playing tennis and basketball. How are they even doing it? I don't know, but it's crazy. Um, so I think that uh, that's fun. But the card that really um, has me going is this card. Rainbow Borders, I think, are going to be popular. Um, I don't think there's any way around it. If you don't like it, that's fine. No big deal. Uh, the kids are going to go crazy for these Rainbow Borders, I'm telling you right now. Um, and they're stunning to see. These little scans or pictures or whatever these are, um, they just, they don't, they don't ever do it even remotely the justice. So I like his pose. <laughs> He's bending his big old neck. I don't know. I'm just, I'm liking it. I really am. So, um, pretty excited about this set. Um, here's a few of the other cards. Like, you know, this is just like an EX, but you get the rainbow border EX. So, um, you know, nothing too crazy. Like, so kind of to summarize, this is going to be a big set. We don't really even know everything that's going to be in it, um, which is kind of very exciting because we don't know the Pikachu side. It, the The first set, the Paradise Dragona, is supposed to be a dragon set. We haven't we haven't even scratched that surface. I don't think of what other dragon Pokemon could be in there. Um, so I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get my hopes up like too terribly high um, because something tells me that the Pokemon Company isn't going to hit the dragon, the Paradise Dragona, out of the park like I want. But I think if you combine a pretty decent Paradise Dragona with a good Pikachu set, if they're like good and good but not great, and you put them into one English set, that could be great. Um, so I'm just seeing a lot of potential here. Um, it's fun to look forward you know, to these sets that are coming out. Um, we're getting a lot of set news recently. Sometimes I, f I feel like we go a while without anything, and then all of a sudden they're just hitting us with um set news and set news so um what i've seen so far i'm impressed i'm excited um especially with that set size and the sirs and the ir quantity um that's gonna that's gonna mean some big things potentially so um big imp big implications for this set moving forward but we won't we won't truly know until we see the full card list revealed honestly that will help us get a much better idea um, but for now, I'm I'm hopefully optimistic, and I just I don't want to uh, 
I don't want to get let down. Something, when I start to get, I'm starting to get excited because like Stellar Crown, like I'm kind of excited about it. And then now this set, I'm even more excited. And I just don't want my hopes to get smashed. And something tells me that Pokemon's going to smash them. I don't know why. I'm just expecting to be, I'm trying not to get disappointed is what I'm getting at. So um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are um, on this set. I think it potentially has it has some big big potential um but let me know if you guys are excited for it um if you think it's trash if you think it's good if you think it's mid um leave that in the comments below i'd be interested to hear your take uh, you don't always have to agree with me i'm interested to see other people's perspectives and uh, there's nothing wrong if you don't like it that's totally fine you know find a set that you like uh, if you like it more than me that's even better and you know great um you know happy times right so that is is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content, so do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on when I post my latest videos. And, yeah, so moving forward, um, hopefully I can't wait to start getting these sets out, get, get them in our hands, and start opening these packs. But um, the Scarlet and Violet era is looking good. So I will catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.